My name is Brian Freel, I'm the Deputy CEO of the Peter McVary Trust. Peter McVary Trust currently provides housing first services across four major regions in the country. Um, Dublin, across the four Dublin local authorities, that's Fingal, Dunley, Rathdown, South Dublin and Dublin City Council. In the northeast of the country, in Louth, Monaghan and Cavan. In the mid-east of the country, which incorporates the three local authorities of Kildare, Wicklow and Meath and also in the Midlands, which is Leash, Longford, Offaly and Westmeath. And we're currently providing support to 421 unique individuals across those four regions. Um, of those 421, there are currently 337 who are being housed by the Peter McFerry Trust and supported in housing by the Peter McFerry Trust under the Housing First uh, model. Since the Taoiseach made his announcement on the 12th of March in relation to restrictions being imposed regarding the COVID-19 pandemic, 24 unique individuals have been provided with accommodation in properties both provided by the local authority and supplied by Peter McVary Trust and those sourced under the HAP scheme. So 24 people have moved into property since the Taoiseach made his announcement as the pandemic has continued to unfold. So the, the Trust sees a great opportunity at the moment that there are properties coming into the market which may not have previously been accessible and given that they're now there we're doubling our efforts to try and ensure that we secure those properties for our participant group and maximise the opportunities to continue to progress our participants um, into Housing First properties across the regions that we're currently providing supports through. Of course we're in unprecedented times and there is a, an onus on our staff and they take the responsibility very seriously to ensure that throughout this process that they maintain the social distancing required, that they follow the respiratory etiquette and the hand washing. All that goes on piece while we continue to try and support our participants and within the restrictions that are currently in place to access accommodation that is there available on the market. We certainly like to express our continued gratitude, appreciation and thanks to our staff and our statutory and voluntary partners to ensure that we continue to deliver housing first services across the regions and uh, to all of our staff and to our participants and to those who we work in partnership with. Uh, stay safe, stay well and take care. Thank you.